My Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. Oh, what a glorious day right here in My Cool Inventions, broadcasting live today from Invention One Studios in beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm ACOS Jankira, your host, uh, the ACOS the Solutionist. A special guest today, my co host, Andrew Jankira, live from from Dubai, actually very famous uh, jazz keyboard player, and my brother, uh, and to, uh, to tell you what, we've had t- thousands, maybe tens of thousand hours together working at trade shows, uh, selling inventions, selling gadgets, selling gizmos to at home shows and state fairs and all that kind of stuff. And let me tell you something, we learned our craft, especially I learned my craft for television live at trade shows. And I tell people every time, all these inventors and innovators, if you want to learn your business, if you're a lawyer, if you're a general contractor, if you're selling anything, get to a home show, set up a booth, and stand there for 10,000 hours. Let me tell you something, you learn your craft pretty well. All the questions you ever need to learn will come out, and you'll probably make a lot of money because your business will uh, accelerate uh, quickly. We just had a home show here in Tampa last week, and I know there's another one coming up. I always tell everybody, that's the best way to meet your customers. The customers tell you everything. You learn so much at a home show, learn so much at a trade show, and matter of fact, I use those same skills today on television, where we've sold over a billion dollars. So don't tell me that little university of home shows doesn't mean anything. Good friends of ours like Billy Mays and, 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 and Anthony Sullivan, the really big greats in our business actually got their chops standing on a box at a home show. Right, Andrew? Absolutely. Remember those fire steel shows we used to do? Oh yeah, we get all, all you get all kinds of questions asked to you. You can you 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 learn how to react to something. You learn how to show something. You learn how to feed off of someone. How to you know? It's so so great to have a go to a home show and so and and work directly in front of somebody. I always tell I always tell my inventors always keep moving. If you're a businessman, keep moving. I can guarantee the result if you're not moving. But if you're moving, like going to home shows, you might not get exactly where you're going, but you're moving, you're going, and you learn, and you and you, all, all kinds of uh, evolution takes place in your business. You meet somebody who takes you on a path, right? So interacting with... But anyways, that's my home show pitch for you. We'll have another <laughs> selling secrets so part of the home show uh, thing. But every day we have an inventor. Every day they come onto this program and they pitch their products. Now, yesterday, we had that grill divider, Andrew. Remember that grill divider? Yes, yeah. That was the thing where you put in your barbecue so you can have one heat over here, another heat over here here yeah. and divide the heat so you could have like sweet potatoes and steaks and stuff like that. Yeah, very right? clever, yeah. Very clever. And you guys voted. So before I tell you how you guys voted, let Harold Lamson with the grill divider, let's hear his pitch. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. How many times do you cook on your grill and use only one or two burners? grill insert keeps the heat concentrated in a small area that you're using. Place the grill divider under your hood of your grill between the burners. It prevents the heat from leaving your cooking area. With an easily accessible handle, you can move the divider to any position in your grill. How about cooking several items at once? Use two dividers. Cook your hamburgers on high, your potatoes on low, and your chicken on medium. See our video on facebook.com slash grill divider. How about cross-contamination? How many times did your sausage juice drip down your hamburger? I don't know about you, but I hate that. And it's very dangerous. Everyone needs a grill divider to cook well on their grill. See us at grilldivider at gmail.com and coming soon at grilldivider.com. And remember, at Grill Divider... Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You can only make millions. All right, let's do a quick Facebook poll on our, quick, our, on our Facebook live stream. Did you guys like that or not? Just uh, just in there, say uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. I think uh, I think uh, Facebook has a thumbs up uh, icon there. Everybody right now who's on Facebook, whether on the gadget stream or in the invention stream, quickly tell me thumbs up or thumbs down. Let's see what happens. And also tell me where you're from. Also tell me where you're from. Uh, maybe you have an invention. Let's interact together. Ask questions. That's why we have the stream up there so you can ask questions right here live on air, and Andrew and I will answer them for you. Now while you guys are all voting there. Let me tell you how the vote went yesterday. Now, normally, the votes are pretty high. Yesterday, not so much. Only 50% of you voted thumbs up. That means 50% of you 
voted thumbs down. That's kind of rare. That was kind of surprising. Wasn't that surprising? I'm surprised at that because one. Because he had my thumbs up vote yeah. because I like the idea of being able to uh, divide the heat. I think it was a good idea, but you know what? The public has spoken. That's why this is a democracy. That's why you know this is a great place because you guys can all express your opinions by voting. Now, that was yesterday's inventor. Now, today we have another interesting inventor. Uh, this is an illuminated picture candle holder. Right? And, and okay. you know these candles, right? Yeah. So I guess you can put a light or look at the picture of it right there. So it illuminates from behind, so you can slap the picture on the front there, and you got a pretty good decorative piece in the house. It's not just a candle, but it's maybe your loved one. You always seen that. That's kind of a, 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 a pretty interesting thing there. That's so cool. let's get inventor Lindsay Lynch right here. Lindsay Lynch, welcome to the program. Hello, good morning. Tell everybody what is an illuminated picture candle holder. Illuminated picture candle holder is a great way to illuminate your candles as you illuminate a photograph, just okay. like this. See? And All right, got it. The great thing about this product is you don't even have to have a photograph on there. You can just have a decorative piece. Right. And this one, see, I own four patents on all this stuff. So... So she's you got have the illumination from the inside, right? And then you can have fiber optics and LEDs on the outside. As you illuminate your own photograph, you can burn prayer candles, votives, and tea lights because they're all reusable candle products. So quickly, the the photograph that you put on the candle. Now my photographs are made out of paper. Like, how does the light shine through that? Okay, let me show you. I can show you on this little sample right here. Now, on these, they're actually removable photo frames. Okay. So the, the light is illuminating through the inside. Okay. So when you put the photograph in here, it All right. slides right through these slots. Okay. All right. So then, so so we okay. So it's a regular photograph, or the regular reg, reg, regular uh, uh, you know paper photograph. All right, I didn't realize that would do. Right. All right, so every, so we got a couple of Facebook questions up here. We got Daniel McFarland. She says hello. She asked me if we exercise today. What do you What do you mean, uh, to, uh, Daniel? Uh, what do you mean? Do we exercise today? We exercise every day. Can you, I, don't, I have to exercise every day to stay this big. On there. And Rusty Weaver says hello, and Stephen Joe says hello. People are saying hello. Everybody say hello and say hello to Lindsay Lynch with this illuminated picture candle holder. And I want you to give comments while we're going along. Do you like this thing or not like this thing? Because what it is, it's a candle. It's kind of a photo frame candle deal, right, Andy? Yeah, it's kind of cool. What do you think about this thing? I think it's great. It's very useful. You can have like you can put it on for special occasions, like for birthdays and that kind of stuff. Oh, I think I think it's got a great idea to it. It's got a high apparent yeah. value, I think, too. You yeah. know what we're gonna do? Let's 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 uh, let, let's hear her pitch. I want to hear her pitch because this is kind of clever. I think this is very clever. Um, so, Lindsay, you know what we do every day here? We give you sixty seconds, sixty seconds to pitch it, sixty seconds to win us over because we're gonna vote. We're gonna vote thumbs up, yeah. or we're gonna vote thumbs down. Like yesterday, Buzz, uh, our, our inventor, he got fifty fifty. David before the lady got 92. So it's up to you. You're going to have to drive this thing with the best pitch ever in 60 seconds. And we're going to all get ready to vote. We're going to go to mycoolinventions.com. So if you're all out there, I want to go to mycoolinventions.com. Get ready to vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. And in the meantime, Lindsay Lynch, you ready to give us your best 60 second pitch? I am absolutely ready. Well, what are we waiting for? Tony, pull the trigger. Do you have any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Candles that have been part of society since the beginning of time. Candle holders today lack personalization and technology. Pitcher and candles go together like peanut butter and jelly that have not been properly sandwiched. Let's remix our atmosphere for the design for safety as we use our favorite candle products such as candles, tea lights, sabotas, and prayer candles, and their LED versions. Now, this allows our customer to have continuous usage with every celebration. With unlimited product designs, our candle holders illuminate photographs internally, brightening life special moments with illumination and imagination. So act now with this new licensing opportunity, because we don't make candles. We make candles accessories. Contact me at www.illuminatedpicturecandleholder.com. Vote now, give me a big thumbs up, and let's make... Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions.
My goodness gracious, what kind of energy? Oh my goodness, vote, yeah. vote, vote. Everybody go to mycoolinventions.com right now. Hit the vote button. Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Well, Teresa Wells Smith says, I love this candle. Daniel McFar- McFarland? Yeah, Manuel McFarland says, fun gift idea. Yeah. Give us your comments right here on Facebook live stream. Oh, Christy Severin says, uh, oh, the Wi Fi is terrible where she is. She can't watch, but she can listen and she can vote. So comment. Is it thumbs up, thumbs down? Vote for mycoolinventions.com. Lindsay, You've got, uh, I'm going to tell you something, that is a very fun pitch. I am very surprised that you can put a light behind a piece of paper on the on the, the photo thing. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, and, and it, it, and it nice. glows Because it glows miraculously, beautifully. I mean, they look beautiful on there. And Lindsay, after the, after the, after the uh, break, we'll take a little break. We're going to talk to you about uh, how much it costs, where can you bet, get them, what are your dreams and aspirations, do you want to be on Inventor's Showdown? That's our reality show. Yes, hot reality show called Inventor's yeah. Showdown. Down. Season two, we've already got the thumbs up. Season two starts the first Sunday of August, and we're looking for three or four more contestants for Inventor Showdown. We've got 16 inventors we have spots for. We have 13 locked and loaded. We're looking for three more. And you know how you get on that program? Get a big thumbs up, vote big, big, big. So I want you to email people, social media people, everybody watching, everybody listening, help her by voting. She needs a big thumbs up to get the uh, attention of those buyers at Inventor Showdown. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Maybe Lindsay can be on the next $100 million idea. Maybe Lindsay can be on the next Inventor Showdown season and be seen in front of 90 million people live. Yeah, not taped. Live. <laughs> you make a mistake, it goes out live. If you sell rights, it goes out live. You're going to love it. Hey, Justin Skazing, great novelty item, especially the LED lights and picture. Yep. Stick around. After the break, we're going to talk to Lindsay about her illuminated candle. Maybe it's the next $100 million idea. Always throwing those used dead batteries away. That can get pricey. And battery rechargers are big and bulky. How do we get around this problem? Hi, I'll make off the solutions to tell you that most people have a USB port and we have USB rechargeable batteries. That's right, plug the USB AA batteries into any USB port and recharge them. It even lets you know with an LED indicator the status of the charge and there's a present voltage control circuit to prevent overcharging. The USB batteries can be charged up to 500 times. Now that's a lot of charges. Get these incredible USB rechargeable batteries and have charged batteries whenever you need them. Normally the USB battery sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the USB batteries are only $15.99, and you buy one, get one free, get two batteries. Click on mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490, one 877 490 order now. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99. But today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Problem. Too many bottles, cans, or cups are dropped in the lake, or they get warm on the beach before you're ready to refresh. Solution? The Floatinator. With the Floatinator, you no longer have to worry about dropping or having lake water spilled into your drink. Plus, both of your hands stay free. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist. Now you can take your drink into the lake, pool, or ocean and have your hands free at the same time. It's a cup holder with a tether line that you attach to your wrist so it floats with you. Made with a foam float ring for buoyancy, it also has a unique counterweight ballast that protects your drinks from wakes, waves, and cannonballs. Enjoy the water and your drink at the same time with the Floatinator. Buy it now. 
Normally the Floatinator sells for $39.99, but with the special promo code FLOAT, you can buy it for $29.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You're out at night and you need some light. You didn't take a big flashlight, so now what are you gonna do? Now that is a problem, but I have the answer. Hi, I'm Make Austin Solutionist with the Next Torch. It's the small thumb light you can put in your pocket. The Next Torch has a special white LED that is gentle to the eyes and has a reach of over 15 feet. Unlike other small light, this one even has a stand that lets you rotate the light 360 degrees. It also has a magnetic bottom plate, a bungee cord, a carabiner, which offers you countless ways to use your light. On the hood of your car, bungee to a tree limb, or just attach it to your jacket. It truly is the perfect pocket utility lantern. Normally the next torch sells for $39.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, we have it for $19.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. I got Andrew Jankura here, my co-host and brother, and I make us the solutionist. In the break, Andrew and I were talking about this illuminated uh, candle uh, holder uh, by Lindsay Lynch. And uh, Andrew, what did you think? I think it's pretty cool. I've got some uh, ideas, and I have some questions about it. Yeah, go fire away. I got. Uh, I'll just. Lindsay, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Uh, hi there. Um, I just want to. Um, I got a couple questions. First of all, the candle holders themselves, do they have, what kind of sizes do they come in? Well, you can have multiple sizes. Like, this is like a smaller candle. Um, this is a, about a five by six size photo, photo candle where I'm using a four by six photograph and I cut off an inch of it so it slid right in. We could probably make some even just a tad bit smaller by using wallet size photographs. Okay, that's cool. But you can also, this one right here is a 5 by 7 photograph. Right, right. Because I was thinking it would be great for a birthday cake. You know, you can actually put it on the cake. You can have happy birthday, maybe print out something on the, on the side, or happy birthday, personalize it to somebody put it on the cake. So I thought if you That'd had some cake. smaller, smaller <laughs> size, yeah, <laughs> you need some smaller size with it. You have a, you have a very large cake in that case. So, well, uh, you know, for birthday cakes, it's better to blow this candle out than to blow your germs <laughs> on the cake. That's a good idea. I was thinking of that, too. So another question I have, how much are they? Well, they can range anywhere between $10 to $20 and up, depending okay. on what kind of gadget you have inside. Like, this one actually has Bluetooth in there, so you can play what? music through it. Like so. Bluetooth? <laughs> yes. What do you, what was, what's so, a Bluetooth candle? It's got a speaker and stuff, plays music? Yes. Wow. I would play something for you, but I'm using the phone for my audio right now. So, so let me tell you something. Everything's better with Bluetooth. That's what I always say. If you've got Bluetooth, it's uh -huh. just better. Bluetooth better. So, so are you making any of these, Lindsay, right now? Well, I can hand make these. And right now, I also have another product that I've been developing. Um, I have nothing, like, ready to ship out or anything quite yet. But I have another product right here called the Candle Capsule. A candle capsule is also another fun product. What's a candle capsule? A candle capsule has a, a tea light holder on top. Yeah, tea light holder on top. As yeah. you store and hide your jewel. Oh, it's a safe. Yeah. It's a candle slash safe. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay, so let's get back to your illuminated candle holder. What, what is your plan to make them? How are you going to manufacture these? Well, they can be rotary molded very easily and... Um, I've gotten partly, some of it partly uh, developed through with the engineering. Okay. But this is about as far as I got. Then I started tinkering with uh, Candle Castle. So what if I told you that I am in the candle business? Mm -hmm. What if I told you we have our own line of candles called Oasis uh, Candles? What if I were to well, license? That would be awesome. What if I were to license this idea from you? Well, I'd say, well, let's uh, talk. <laughs> 
All right. See, so you got to be ready, Lindsay. Anytime some opportunity could come up. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about here. All right. So that's yeah. kind of a cool idea. I want, I want people's feedback. I see Sarah Roland uh, Herina. Uh, she has a big, Herrera. big happy face. Herrera, big happy face with love uh, eyes. That's kind of interesting. On there, I, I want everybody's comments. So you, when you watch it, I want you to comment right now. Do you like this thing or not? Is it a good idea? Should I license this product? I mean, should I give her a licensing fee and put it to my Oasis Candles line that I sell on Evine and sell around the world? Should I? I do that you see see uh, uh Lin- see lindsay i actually own the license so we have the license for the three d the three-dimensionally uh sort of illuminated candles that are uh that are led candles that are not um real candles but they by, by the way they're so realistic you would almost touch it just to, just to check if it was actually a real candle or not i mean they flicker they're fantastic but i think this would be a great addition to that i think we have maybe that ivory uh, uh column candle we have yeah. maybe with that we I think if it illuminates it like that, that'd be a great idea. So I have a guy in a factory who makes candles for me, and I could, I could fast track this for you pretty quickly. So we should talk because uh, maybe yeah. we'll maybe we'll license this idea from you. Mm-hmm. And if you have anybody out there who's interested in the candle, how do they get a hold of you, Lindsay? If they go if they, if they want to do business with you. Well, if you want to do business with me, contact me at www illuminatedpicturecandleholder.com Okay, hang on for a second. Did you not listen to my program yesterday about what's in a name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. Holy moly. Well, you, can get, you can get my information, my phone number and everything from there and we can... We can. Tony, if you actually got part of that, want to type it up there for her because I don't know how long it will take you to type that, but uh, apparently it's, it's, uh, right it's, here, it's Lindsay it. Lynch illuminated picture frame candle holder with LEDs and candles and lights dot com or something like that on there, but I'm sure, listen, I'll, I'll get uh, Tony to type it into this byline here so you, people can find out about that. So <laughs> you got to get a better name, kid. Seriously, all right? Yes. Like, not, not nothing. Yes. Andrew, what do you think about this name? Yeah, it's too way too long. When you have to actually yeah. take two breaths to actually say the name, yeah. too long. Remember, go look at the video from yesterday's show, okay? Because we had a great section in the, in the Selling Secrets. It's the third section of the show. The Selling Secrets part where we talked about names. It's called What's in a Name? It was Tony's question. I think on YouTube, if you go to YouTube right now, go to the My Cool Inventions YouTube page, hit the Selling Secrets, go look at that nine-minute segment on What's in a Name. You'll learn. And by the way, if you're watching, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a fantastic channel. Go to My Cool Inventions on YouTube. Uh, you'll see it, uh, all the videos are up there, but we have broken down. We have the inventor pitches. We have the selling secrets. Uh, so it's a really, if you're an inventor and innovator, it's got all kinds of great resources there for you. It's free of charge. Just go up there and take a look. So that's my plug. So I like this Lindsay Lynch and I think other people, oh, Grace, uh, uh, Grace, Gracie, Gracie. I White. wish I had my glasses. Hold on. Hold on, Gracie. I got to show. Okay. Gracie White says, this sounds great. I want to want, she wants to buy one. Shanna Smith says, I do too. Yeah, so you've got it. a lot of followers here and everybody who's watching on the Facebook stream, share, share, share. Please share. We want to build the audience up big so people like Lindsay Lynch who who we, we want to give her a leg up we want to help her out we want to give her a, a chance to win Lindsay where are you from I am from Castleberry Florida Cat, are you close to our studio here I I am close so why are she right sitting here right here no yeah. like why are you in our studio well, I asked. They said, they said that you know it was better because of the candles so who asked I'm here I'll go slap him out right now which one Tony or Al who asked you <laughs> okay Al Al that was Al, it was Al. Al is oh, slapping no. himself right now. Hey, listen, next time you're in here, <laughs> last time you're in here, why don't you come into the studio? We'll bring you right here and sit you right live. If you're this close to our studio, we love having inventors live. That's a cool idea. All right, so you're close by, and I think we could license this. Now, we have a lady on our staff named Bonnie, and uh, I think uh, we we're already looking for ideas for next Christmas, and our factory is looking for orders for next Christmas right now, and maybe we come up with this program, and maybe we'll build this for you. So maybe we can get that uh, prototype, we'll license it for you, and maybe get you on to the next Inventor Showdown. You can't come on in August. It's too close. But maybe the next Inventor Showdown uh, series, we can show this to everybody and see if we can get you on the program because we do like the product. I'm still a little confused about how you can put so much light through a paper paper uh, <laughs> picture and actually get the light through it uh, uh, the way you have the illumination there because it really is fantastic. Hey, it's fantastic. I love your enthusiasm. Yeah. Okay, what do you do for a living when you're not inventing stuff? Well, I actually run my own cleaning company full time. I work 10, 14 hours a day cleaning homes. What do you cl- you clean houses? I do. You clean offices? I have my own company. You clean offices? Yes, I do. Offices, houses, everything. 
I got a carpet shampooing job. I got a carpet shampooing job here in the office. I need right away. You got to come over and help us quote us on this. Uh, and then we might as well, uh, you know, spread the wealth around a little bit. Driving range, but okay, all right. But if we're talking licensing, that's a possibility. All right. Hey, you know, listen. If you want to listen to yourself, you know, in Tampa on 1380, the Biz, the the, the business station, 1380 at four o'clock or four. Is it four o'clock or four thirty, Tony? Four o'clock. You know, this show will be broadcast uh, there on Drive Time. So if you want to listen to yourself live on the radio, tell all your friends. Uh, it's in Tampa, 1380 a.m. You can hear yourself on the show. And we're broadcasting 53 different radio stations around the country and hundreds of thousands of people listen to this program. We thank you to be on our show. We love you. Thank right? you. And I want you to email. I love you guys. So, Tony, I want you to give Senator Bonnie's email address, all right? Senator Bonnie's email address. Let's hook her up. We'll take a look at licensing this invention from her. See if we can put that on. So I'm going to get her on Inventor Showdown. Let's, let's, let's help this lady out. Like we do all the inventions. We try. We try to help you. We don't guarantee anything, but we give it a good college try. We've helped a lot of people there on Inventor Showdown. The winner, Yisha, with his Super Socket won. He got an order for over $200,000 to be on the next on July 17th. He's going to be the special of the day. A tadpole tape cutter with Lee Monahan. He's gotten tons of orders. Peter Banks with the plug and save. My gosh, he's in the millions of dollars of orders. All started right here on My Cool Inventions. So if you haven't submitted your product to us, what are you waiting for? My Cool inventions.com You take that last sip of coffee before your meeting and you guessed it, it's all over your shirt. Now what? Hi, I'm a cost the solutionist and you can solve that problem with the S2O stain removing pens. The S2O pen is a concentrated stain remover that you can take anywhere. Put it in your purse, pocket, or your car. The effective stain remover can remove any stain from ink, grass, cosmetics, or food off of anything. Just take the pen and rub it on the stain and the stain is gone. Simple as that. So enjoy that cup of coffee knowing you have the S2O pen in your pocket. Normally a three pack of S2O pen sells for $19.95, but today only on the Daily Gadget, a three pack of S2O pens are free. You heard me right, free. Click on mycoolgadgets.com or call us 1-888-877-0490. Get your three pack of S2O pens for free right now. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp, how are you going to start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time, even in the rain or snow. It's safe, fast, it even could be a lifesaver. Hi, I'm Acos the Solutionist and let me tell you about survival steel. It's made from cerium, which is one of the Earth's element, and it can make a spark hot enough to set a fire to almost anything. If you've ever needed to start a fire, survival steel will do the job under any conditions. Look at this. In the rain dripping wet or in the middle of a snowbank, survival steel starts a fire each and every time. This 3000 degree spark isn't red hot, it's white hot. Survival steel is a necessary tool for all outdoorsmen. Normally survival steel sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget. Buy one, get one free. Both for $19.99. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Those hanging baskets you bought are expensive and you see more of the basket than the flowers. That's not what you wanted. You want flowers and more flowers, not baskets. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist with the perfect solution, the Betta Basket. The Betta Basket is a unique way you plant your flowers. There are 12 holes around the lower and middle of the basket with the removable panels that make it easy to plant your flowers. When done, your Betta Basket will give you a perfect flower arrangement from the start. As they grow, they will sculpt themselves into something truly amazing. It's also perfect for growing strawberries, tomatoes, and herbs. All you see are flowers, fruits, and herbs. Betta Basket normally sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, you can get it for $19.75. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or go to mycoolgadgets.com. 
Okay, you're exercising. You need cardio equipment, strength training equipment, and all kinds of other pieces. That's a lot of stuff, and it can be expensive. If you don't have the space or money, that can be a problem. Hi, I'll make us the solutionist with the solution, the Workout 180. This one piece of equipment incorporates strength, cardio, stability exercises to give you a total workout. It's not only an exercise step and balance board or a push-up bar, it also comes with resistance bands. The seven different levels allow you to reach your results by consistently increasing the band resistance. The Workout 180 is affordable and an effective way to reach your personal goal. Normally, the Workout 180 sells for $199, but today only on The Daily Gadget, the Workout 180 is $59.75. That's $140 savings for the best workout system you can buy. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on The Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Welcome to Selling Secrets, our segment on My Cool Inventions. Here's where we reveal secrets. Here's where we reveal the top secrets of the business and the industry. Hopefully, you learn something to help propagate your, maybe your entrepreneur business, maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're running a hardware store, maybe you're an inventor, an entrepreneur, you want to sell stuff, right? Now, yep. we get into a lot of discussions about things like home shows and things like big trade shows, and we call it like markets, you know? Seems to me when we're talking to inventors, the word markets come up a lot, right? Right. So an inventor comes on. I, I want. I want. I want to. And I want to figure out. Al, give me an idea of a, a, an inventor who's been on who had a, a product that was really great, but the market was so. I remember one. I remember one. A guy comes on. A great invention. It's for diabetics that you can. Uh, you can. Uh, it's a sensitivity thing for your toes. Uh, is to see what the, the propagation of getting better or worse from your diabetes. Now that was a great invention, but it was a market that was really, really, really small. So I want to talk about how to divide your products into markets. Now, when you come to Andrew and I, when we're at a home show or something, we're on television, we want a product that is the next doorknob. A product that every, every, everybody wants. And like this, there's a doorknob right there. Thanks, so. Al. Well, we want to call this, we're going to call this market the huge mass market. Huge mass, meaning everybody has a door. Bars of soap. Yeah, that's a soap. huge mass market. Everybody uses soap, right? Everybody has a doorknob. Let's surprise them. See what Al comes up with next in the picture if he's got one there on there. So mass, huge mass market items are really successful. So I also talk about things like huge mass market items, especially if they have continuity behind them. For example, that bar of soap, you know that's not the only bar of soap you're ever gonna buy. That doorknob, ah, you might change the doorknob in your life two, three times, but um, <laughs> let me tell you something, a bar of soap, all the time. Laundry soap, huge mass market. One of our most successful products is called S2O Laundry Sheets. You know what I love about that product? Everybody has to do laundry, and they buy it over and over and over again, right? Now, my brother Andrew here, uh, he's, got, he's got a music store. Yep. And you cater to uh, professional musicians. Correct. Would you call that a huge mass market? Not really. No, of course not, because it's not a doorknob. No. In fact, his market, he's not even what I call, well, he, would, he would be in something called, uh, it could be a mass market, uh, it, but it's a much smaller mass it's market. A, it's almost a niche market. It's almost a niche market. Almost a niche market. He sells guitars and pedals and keyboards. What else do you sell? Yeah, basses and drums and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, not everybody wants their, I mean, I wish everybody would put a kid in music lessons because I think that'd be great if everybody played a musical instrument, but not everybody does. Right. So his store isn't a huge mass market. 
Let's talk about things that are mass markets, but a little bit niche, just like Andrew's store. Items like sports equipment, right? That's mass market. You know, you can go to the store, you can go to, you know, these big sports stores, they have them around, where you can buy sporting equipment, just like Andrew's musical instrument store. You can buy sporting equipment. It doesn't, that's not the huge mass market, but it would not everybody in the family. There is this possibility that someone in every family would have use for a sporting equipment goods store, right? So it's mass market, but it's not huge mass market because not everybody needs it. But in every family, in every house, there's a chance that somebody would want that product. We call that the mass market. Okay, that's different. And let me tell you another mass market item: uh, things like diamonds. Okay, things like we had an inventor in here who had this veneer. It was a really cool idea. I should tell you about it. It's veneer diamonds, right? So what he does. He takes cubic zirconia, right, and he puts a film. Uh, he has, a, he has a, a way to put the film of diamond, a real film of diamonds, real diamonds on the outside. They use this technology when they're making uh, fighter jets, when they're making uh, a drill bits to go through rock. They have this technology to put a film of diamond on a surface. And he took that technology and he put that film of diamond, for example, on a uh, uh, on on a, um, uh, a cubic zirconia. So now it has the sparkle of a diamond, but really isn't a diamond, so it's way cheaper. Well, diamonds, again, that falls into the category of, um, is it a huge mass market like a doorknob? No. But in every single home, I bet you you'd find a diamond. Right. Maybe the wife has it. Maybe the, you know, you've got one in your ear, I think. Don't you know? No. You had a rude loop today. <laughs> we, I, you know, we never know. But there's a chance that someone in the house could have a diamond. We call that mass market, but not huge mass market. Hold on. Dan, uh, Dar, Darcel says the one, the world, the world's one and only product that keeps your razor sharp. The effing use the razor beds. Hey, listen, Dara Daryl, I think you're on Inventor Showdown. Razor bed. Get in touch with Bonnie right away. We've been trying to get a hold of you. Uh, we got, we got to make, like, make sure Bob, Bob, Bonnie's talking to you because Daryl has a product called Razor Beds. Now, let me ask you a question: Is Razor Beds just a huge mass market, or is it just regular mass market? I think it's it's probably in the mass market. I wouldn't say. I mean, everybody has. Blades. Say, I, I would I would say it's a huge mass market. <laughs> I mean, you know why? Because many people in a house would have a you know. But you're right. It's kind of in the middle. It's kind of like in the middle. Kind of in the middle. But everybody would use a razor. And this razor beds. How would you like to use your razor longer where it doesn't get dull faster? Because what well, you trouble is these things are fortune razors. And so he's got a product uh, that's called Razor Beds. A razorbed.com. You don't have to throw out your razor because he has a way to keep the razor dry so it doesn't oxidize, doesn't rust, so it keeps sharper longer, which is really cool. And I love this product. I love this product. In fact, he's on the board right now to be an Inventor Showdown Season 2 in August. Bonnie's trying to get a hold of him and get the QA samples in. I think he might even win Inventor Showdown. And if he goes in front of 90 million homes and wins, let me tell you something, uh, that guy might uh, be hugely successful. He will really All right. win. <laughs> so we talked about huge mass market. That's a good market. Mass market, that's a good market. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, niche markets, okay? Mm. We had a guy here on the program uh, who had uh, a dart sharpener. Okay. You know when you're playing darts? Yeah. He had a dart sharpener. Now, well, that's a niche market. Yeah, you might find darts in some homes, you know, the game darts. Um, yeah, how many but people who's sharpening darts? their darts, yeah, right? Sharpening. Professionals might be sharpening their darts. I don't know. Oh. But, you know, I don't know. People who hunt with darts might be sharpening their darts. I have no <laughs> idea. But this is a dart, a diamond dart sharpener. We had an inventor on a program. Now, that's a product the diamond dart sharpener that we would not put on live shopping. Because let me talk about the reason I tied in uh, Daryl there with the razor bed is uh, uh, because I think in live shopping, the markets we like are these huge mass or mass markets. Like guitars have sold successfully in live shopping, right? Right. Uh, especially when you got a guy up there, who's that uh, Australian gu uh, guy, famous musician up there. Uh, we've had all kinds of famous musicians on there selling guitars, right? Okay. On there. Um, uh, so mass market, a huge mass is what I call live shopping products. Now, dart sharpeners, yeah, not so much. However, there could be a, a good market for it uh, in a specialty market, like maybe a dart sharpener, you go into a specialty dart store, that might be a market there for dart sharpeners. Might be an upsell. An upsell. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Yes. Somebody's buying darts, you might you want to... Yeah, yeah, good, add, give good a, idea. Give an upsell. Sharpener, upsell. Uh, we had another product on, Andrew, it was really cool, it's called a 3D ruler. Take a look okay. at this. So this is a ruler that's not just a regular ruler, but it also measures in three dimensions. Now, this is important when you're drilling down into a a piece of wood don't want to come out the other side. Yep. And there's all kinds of good reasons to have a 3D ruler. But, you know, would I put that in a Home Depot? Probably not. 
Yeah. You know, it's hard. However, a contractor who's always got these sort of specialty problems, that might be a good thing to have in his bag of tricks there. Yeah. Many, I mean, he might pull it out maybe once a month, right? But that's a real niche market. So, so far we've covered huge mass markets and regular mass markets. And those two categories where I love inventions. I love inventions in those two categories, mm -hmm. especially if you bring me one in the huge mass market, like Daryl there with the razor bed. He's been commenting. And good to see you there, Daryl. And if you're uh, one of our inventors, comment. Come on, ask questions. Comment way right there. The selling secret. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about in the marketing thing is called novelty markets. Now, novelty markets are really interesting because you think novelty markets are not going to be the mass market, but sometimes they are. Yeah. For example, now you don't look old enough. I don't know who remembers. Who remembers? Everybody watching, um, comment on Facebook. Who remembers the pet rock? Remember the pet rock? This genius came up, he throws a round rock and a bunch of straw in a box, and he gives it a name, I don't know what the heck he gave it, all kinds of ownership papers. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody went out there buying a rock in a box, right? And let me tell you something, it was massively successful, but that would be like a novelty market. A novelty yeah. market. Uh, I mean, uh, what, other, what other products, for example, do you think are novelty markets like that? With Chia Pet, maybe? Chia Pet is probably Chia one. Pet would be a novelty market. How successful is Chia Pet? Seriously. I mean, that's that's basically a, a pumice rock with seeds in it. <laughs> well, I, I can only imagine those guys throw some water on it. They started making uh, the Chia Pets in different heads, and then I think you can buy a, a Donald Trump Chia Pet. I think you can buy a, 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 all kinds of Chia <laughs> Pet heads on there. So those are novelty markets. And let me tell you something. Don't dis, don't um, get discouraged by novelty markets because they're massive. They, if, they're, if they hit right through, if you would have come to me and you said, hey, Andrew, here's what we're going to do. I mean, I don't know how much we'd have to be drinking uh, to come up with this idea. <laughs> okay. Look at that round rock over there. Okay, we're going to put that rock in a box, and we're going to sell it for 10 bucks. You might say, yeah. you lost your mind. <laughs> we're going to sell people rocks in boxes. But think about it. Who remembers Pet Rock? Do you all remember Pet Rock? Huge market. So the four markets that we want to break down for all the inventors out there, does your product... Is your product a huge mass market? Is it like a doorknob or a bar of soap? Maybe I'll give you that picture again. Is that a market? Uh, is your market like uh, razor beds? I would consider, well, I'd give Daryl the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that's a mass market item. Is it just like a ma regular mass item? I actually think uh, Lindsay, uh, Lindsay, our inventor, we just had there with illuminated picture candle holder. Mm -hmm. That's a mass market, mass market, but it's not the huge mass because the mass market, you'll find candles in homes. You mm -hmm. will. I have a bunch in my house. No. Uh, you put a picture in front of it. Uh, that's kind of a that's kind of cool, right? Maybe it makes my candle better. So I call that a mass market product. Or is your product a niche market? Is it like that dart sharpener or that 3D ruler we had? Is that a niche market? Or is your product a novelty market, um, uh, like a pet rock? So I tell every inventor when you come on and you invent your product, I want you to identify your market, okay? And identify one of those four, which is yours, which is which, what what market. Do you belong in? Because when you do that, you have to, then opens up different marketing channels, all right? The first two, mass market and huge mass market, well, live shopping is great, right? Uh, television is great. Radio is great, right? Because otherwise, because you, otherwise you're spending too much money. If you're in a niche market, you want to do radio. Maybe Facebook is great for a niche market. Maybe Amazon. Amazon's always <coughs> great for a niche market. That's a good idea. Steve Orpel just said, Glad Guides, 126 million homes in U.S. with furniture, mass market? Yes. I don't... You know what? It might be huge mass market, Steve. Too. It's yeah. one of those. It's one of those things like Andrew just mentions that, that, that you're right. That's why I love you. And by the way, Steve, I think you're on Inventor Showdown season uh, two. So make sure Bonnie's getting in touch with you on that. So break down those four markets, and then then we'll consider what marketing channels that you can sell to when you're in one of those four markets. But that's our selling secrets segment. Hope that helped you guys. And always go to mycoolinventions.com. And if you're an inventor and you haven't submitted to our program, it. Does doesn't cost anything. Go to mycoolinventions.com. Get on our show. Clumsy idiot, you ruined the car. Stop. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. Who was that Banana Man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at stainsareout.com. 
problem. You're jogging and dehydrated from lack of water. That small water bottle attached to your waist is empty and hot and uncomfortable. Solution? The Hydro Water Bottles. These ergonomically designed bottles encourage proper form and posture while running and walking. They provide upper body exercise and hydration. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and let me tell you these Hydro Water Bottles are fantastic. You get two 16 ounce insulated bottles with easy to hold handles making them easy to carry. The two pounds of water weight will exercise both arms while jogging. You can even add more weight. Run better, exercise better, feel better with the Hydro Water Bottles. Buy it now. Normally the Hydro Water Bottles sell for $49.99, but with the special promo code H2O, you can buy them for $39.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Charging devices in the great outdoors in extreme conditions is always a dilemma. How do you charge your phone, tablet, or maybe that light? It can be a real problem. Not anymore. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist with the Extreme Tactical Power Bank. This power bank is portable, rugged power source, uniquely constructed with an integrated 18,000 milliamp battery. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof, perfect for your next invasion. It has two USB outboard ports to charge two devices simultaneously. It even has a short circuit protection. The four LED indicators show battery life and status. The Extreme Tactical Power Bank also has a 30 meter torchlight, perfect for spotting your enemies. This power bank lets everyone enjoy the outdoors without worry. Normally the Extreme Power Bank sells for $99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, 59 bucks. Call 1-888-877-0490, go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, there's one or two times in the day you want to feel clean, but that isn't always the case. Solution, Bob's Butt Wipes. Their all natural paraben free formula ensures that you will be fresh and clean. Without exposure to harsh chemicals, it features a unique hanging dispenser that installs in seconds on your toilet paper holder. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and let me tell you, you can trust Bob's Butt Wipes to keep you clean. These wipes are biodegradable and dispense in under three minutes so your sewer system will remain clog free. You can easily put them into a specially designed dispenser or take them with you on trips. They come in a variety of designer containers for the children or the outdoorsmen. Check out Bob's Butt Wipes for yourself. Wipes that work as hard as you do. Normally, the Bob's Butt Wipes sell for $19.75, but today only on the Daily Gadget, buy one, get one free. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, it's raining and cold and you need to start a fire, but everything's wet. Solution, survival wood. This one piece of wood can save your life. Just chip some pieces from the stick and ignite it. It'll even burn when soaking wet. Then it burns hot, just add some more survival wood. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and that's exactly how you save your life. By starting a fire to keep you warm or signaling for help. Survival wood is made from the Guatemalan pine, rich in resin. It's a light wood that can be cut easily with the grain. Just a few chips will start a fire for you in any condition, in the rain or in the snow. But if you're in bad weather, a match or lighter may not work. Check out survival steel that can ignite the survival wood under all conditions. In the great outdoors, always have survival wood with you. Normally, three pounds of survival wood sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $9.75. Just call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Are you kidding me? Loser. Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who wants that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret and my stains are out. You can too at stainsareout.com. Ooh. 
here's the problem. It's dark. You're outside. You can't have any light on there, and you're wearing your baseball cap, and you got to hold a flashlight. What to do? Solution? You want cap light. Look at this. The cap light fastens onto any baseball cap like that, and you hit the button like this, and boom, you've got bright light. And not only any bright light, Cobb LED light on, off, and your hands are free, so you can roam around wherever you do outside. Maybe you go down to the basement. Maybe you're going down outside. Maybe it's outside and dark. You're in the garage now. You put the cap light on your cap, and you can see anything, and your hands are free. Now, normally, cap light sells for $29.99, but today's Daily Wag, what a gadget. You can get cap light for $9.75. You heard me right, $9.75. Hold on. If you buy one, we're going to get one free. You're going to get two cap lights for $9.75. Not only that, free shipping and handling. All you have to do is go to MyCoolGadgets.com. That's MyCoolGadgets.com. That's $9.75 for two of them and free shipping at MyCoolGadgets.com. <laughs> what do you think about that, Andrew? Very clever. Cool. What a gadget, kids. Oh, here's here's the deal, Leo, on this thing. So first of all, this thing, isn't that kind of, look at that. It's really bright, isn't it? It's Can't actually see. the brightest light you've ever seen. I'm going to show you this little thing. First of all, it's not LED light. Let me introduce you to a technology that you probably have never heard before. It's COB, C-O-B. Now, if you turn it off, Andrew, and take a look at, as you can see, the lights there, there's no light bulbs. Can you see that? Right, right. There's absolutely no light bulbs inside. Okay, what it is, there's circuits. Okay, there's little circuits, and there's literally, literally thousands and thousands of little little circuits right there. So when I push the button, it's insanely bright. Look at that. Off, on. Insanely bright. That is Cobb LED. Let me tell you about Cobb LED. I predict in the future, we were in the Hong Kong Electronics Show, and it's already coming. I think every car light, every, every street light, I think every light in every house will be Cobb LED. You know why? It draws almost no power whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So the battery's going to last way longer than you think. And, you know, you use much less energy. And what I love about this design, look at that guy working on his car there. He puts the light on his uh, on his cap, and he can see with insanely bright light anywhere he goes. You're walking the dog. You're outside. You're camping. Your camping season's coming up. Why hold a flashlight in your hand when you can have the power of the, actually, the power of 20 flashlights on your head on there? And you don't have to wear that. I haven't seen those silly light things you put on your head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Around the band, you know. That's crazy. No. Everybody he wears a baseball cap, right? So you can throw it on uh, the baseball cap. Uh, maybe, like maybe you can put it on your, uh, what they call it? Do <laughs> My do-rag? Yeah, do-rag. You better do-rag walking around there with a the light on the head. So this is actually a great idea for you. Uh, actually, you've got some comedy fans here. Domingo uh, Fernandez. Andrew, please bring me two caps. I'll pay. Oh. <laughs> okay. We're already getting orders. Where does he live, that guy? Dubai? He's in Dubai. <laughs> already getting orders from Dubai. There's people it's from small. Dubai watching the program already asking Andrew to buy it. So make sure you bring him two cap lights. <laughs> okay, no problem. Hey, Hey, Dominguez, it's nine seventy five for two of them. But in your case, it's not free shipping. It's only a thousand bucks for me. <laughs> All right, he might throw it in his luggage. Who knows, Dominguez? On there. So, is this a cool idea, Andrew? Yes. So, by the way, they're normally twenty nine ninety nine each. Each. How about nine wow. seventy five? That's like a two thirds off. And just for giggles, we give you two of them. It's a buy one, get one. It's a BOGO. So you get one, two, buckle my shoe. Wow. So two of them for nine seventy five, free shipping and handling. Go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's mycoolgadgets.com. Hey Domingo, go to mycoolgadgets.com and buy it, and Andrew will deliver it to you. All right? Mycoolgadgets.com. It might not take your order from Dubai. We'll double check on that. So Andrew, what do you think you can use this for? What's your idea on this? What's your what's your opinion? Well, see, as a musician, it's great on stage when there's a dark stage. You need a light. It's perfect because you gotta, you know, you need to plug in stuff. You need your hands for free. It's gonna be a good idea. But that's all my. That's just one of my personal opinions. But you can use it in. You know, obviously, in the garage is great. On a car, working on a car, that kind of thing. In a in a basement that's dark, you can't. You know, it's hard to get to the light. Maybe the lights on the other side of the basement. You can't right. see anything. Perfect. It's perfect on. Just throw it on your cap. Tony's there talking about night fishing. We had another comment on the Facebook stream. Night fishing Excellent is a good idea. idea. Yep. Is it legal, Tony, to put a big light in the water to get attract the fish? Is that legal? Is it? I'm not sure. On there, who cares, right? He goes, hey, that's my baseball cap. It's really bright. But Easy. you got like nuclear lighting. By the way, this is so bright. <laughs> this is lighting. like nuclear lighting. <laughs> I mean, it's not nuclear lighting, but it might be. Take a look out there. We're having a great time here. Buy one, get one free. Two of them for nine seventy five. dollars uh, Al is uh, waving galore. Lower. 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 Okay, lower. Okay, nine seventy. Okay, you're on off on Nine seventy five for two of them. Listen, where are you going to get this thing for $4 and a quarter? Four thirty, right? Four thirty. Yeah. free shipping, mycoolgadgets.com. It's insane. Don't, don't walk 
run. Everybody right now, run to mycoolgadgets.com. Throw the link up there, Tony, for us on both websites. Throw the link up there. Mycoolgadgets.com. Go there right now and just search for CapLite. CapLite. In a few moments, uh, we'll put it up there on the main billboard there. CapLite. Mycoolgadgets.com. Two of them for nine seventy five. Orders are already coming in right now wow. on there. Make sure you don't wait too long. Uh, Domingo, uh, so maybe, make sure you get your order in there. <laughs> Everybody jump on there right now to mycoolgadgets.com and see if you can get your buy one, get one cap light, uh, including free shipping. That's incredible. I mean, seriously, yeah. it's going to cost us more than nine seventy five to ship it to you. Dude, I think we're upside down on this. Tony, did you do this? <laughs> seriously, dude. Did you do the math? Two of them. First of all, they're thirty nine. They're thirty bucks each. That's sixty dollars. The shipping on that sort of thing is usually four or five bucks. That's sixty five dollars. And you threw it up there for two for nine seventy five free shipping. Oh, I think I need to get Tony a calculator. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure that's the logical thing. MyCoolGadgets.com as well. They still have them on there. This is this is going to sell like crazy. This is really this is really a free offer. I mean, seriously, when you think about it, this is insane. This offer. Uh, you get two of them for nine dollars and seventy five cents. Hey, we got uh, we got uh, comments. Mike Green says hello. Do you know Mike Green? Is that one of your guys? No. Mike Green says hello. Everybody's watching. So wave to us. Say hello on our streams. Free shipping and handling. MyCoolGadgets.com. By the way, have you been to MyCoolGadgets? It's cool. Yes, website. it's very cool. Oh my, cool! Web. They got some cool stuff on there. I mean, I mean, oh, I nice. love this. Is pretty cool. By the way, here's how it installs. Right, you take it off. Looks like this. You get two of these things, and they're super, super bright. They're, I mean, they're insane bright. They're nuclear lighting bright. I mean, this is crazy bright. I mean, you know why? Because of the technology. These are not LED lights, okay? Look closely. Okay, I'm going to hold it here so you can see. There's no light bulbs in there. That actually is a um, COB, C-O-B. That stands for Circuit On Board. Did okay. you know that? I bet you, know you a bunch of your musical equipment is going to have this technology in it shortly. Yeah. And so it's got the clip, so it slips on your, the bill of your hat. Is that what they call it? The bill? This is yep. Tony's hat. Outback Bowl 2017. Seriously, Tony, wash the hat. You know, maybe once in a while, throw it in the dishwasher. By the way, that's the trick, right? You throw it in the dishwasher, not your water. Yeah, I'm taking the shower with you. I'm taking the shower with you, <laughs> Tony. Well, don't, you should, Tony, maybe Tony doesn't shower enough. So take it in the shower with you next time and wash the cap on there. So clip it on the bill there. Turn it on and off. You got a fantastic light there. So it's actually really, really super light. It's like nuclear lighting, and it's hands free. You got hands free lights. Bill your cap. You're gonna love it. They're normally twenty nine ninety nine. Thirty bucks normally. We're going to sell it for $9.75. And then, buy one, get one. BOGO. BOGO. Free Ooh. shipping. Costs us more than 10 bucks to ship it to you. Ooh. Free shipping. MyCoolGadgets.com. How much left? Okay, we're, we're, we're starting to run out of them, so please get on MyCoolGadgets.com uh -huh. immediately, uh, quickly, so you can pick up yours. Two of them for $9.75. Free shipping. Any last words, Andrew, for this? Last words for this? Yeah. Bye now. <laughs> love them by now of course hey father's day's coming up you know maybe that's a good idea for old dad he's maybe he's a fisherman likes to run around if you're walking your dog we walk the dog at night walk the dog put it on your cap on there yeah. by the way it's a good idea it's summertime wear a baseball cap you don't want those sun rays uh, hitting your head and that's the daily wag what a gadget you know what i always say wag more Bark less. That's the deal. Wagmore, bark less. <laughs> this is a happy place, a happy offer. And isn't nine seventy five for a two pack free shipping? One happy offer on this uh, cap light. Go to mycoolgadgets.com right now. If you're listening on the radio, don't delay. Mycoolgadgets.com. Download the app. Buy it now. <laughs> problem. It's an emergency. You're stuck in the car with no power. The windows are up, the doors are locked, and it's 95 degrees. What do you do? Solution? The tactical pen. Anybody can break the window without hurting themselves. Grip the tactical pen and tap the window and it'll break. No need to hit the glass with your fist or elbow, and also it has many other functions. Hi, I'm Akos. The Solution is here to tell you that the tactical pen is the superman of pens. The tip is made of tungsten steel and it's designed to break any window with one tap. It also serves as a deterrent against your assailant. And here's the best part, it's a perfect pen. You can even write upside down with its Fisher Space cartridge. Break out, protect yourself, even write a note with the tactical pen. The tactical pen sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to My Cool Gadget. Gadgets.com. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. 
Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the flower pot perfect hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490, that's 1-888-877-0490, or click on MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck, and that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on The Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now.